Today I will review number 60200, Capital City. With 1,211 pieces, it makes a pretty large set for the city line. It has 13 minifigures and 6 vehicles. So let's see what else is in here. This set is a very large one, and it has a lot of buildings and vehicles. There's also 13 minifigures. I like all the selections, and especially like this girl who here who has a reversible head. She's the only minifigure in this set to have a reversible head. There's a lot of accessories in this set. It includes a skateboard, a wheelbarrow, three ice cream cones, lots of flavors of stuff. ice cream to go on them. I like how they put three one-by-one -one plates on top of the ice cream cone to make it look like there's a stack of them. There's also some soda, two hot dogs, a spear from the caveman, a microphone, a guitar, and of course, the wheels on the skateboard double as dumbbells. The electric car is very well designed. Inside, it has space for one minifigure, and in the back, you can fit two suitcases. I like the charging station, as you can unhook this hose here and put it right onto the plate in front of the car like it's charging up. Moving on, we have the bus. It has seven passenger seats plus space to stand up, one seat for the driver, and two tables in the bottom. I like the design, and I like the sign here that says Next Stop Museum. Although it doesn't quite fit in since the museum is still in, under construction. It also has a nice opening door on the other side. The sports car is very well designed. They designed it a lot like the Speed Champions cars. And I like the blue color. There's space for one minifigure and a place in back where the lady can stick her purse. Next we have the police motorcycle and the ice cream tuck tuck. I like the police motorcycle because it's different from all the other speed bikes that they have in most of the sets now. It's also nice to have that clip for the helmet. I like that the cop came with a hairpiece and a helmet. The colors on the ice cream tuck tuck remind me of the Lego Friends sets. It's kind of nice to have those different colors in a city set. I really like the bus stop. It has a sign here with all the departures, some deals up here, and a newspaper, a pizza, two hot dogs, four sodas, a computer, one chair when you're waiting for the bus, and a trash can. I like how they mix the bricks and the smooth blocks together, and I think it makes it look really neat. And here we have the museum work site. I think my favorite part about this is the vehicle. I like how they did two knobs to control the hook and the arm, and hooked it onto a clear gearbox so you could see what was going on. It has a opening cockpit and is detailed very nicely. It's nice that you can use the vehicle to lift the roof pieces and the caveman onto the building. There's only one slight problem. If you're planning to put the caveman into the museum, the sign is a little too big and it gets stuck. And here we have the half pipe. I like the climbing wall on one side and the oversized basketball hoop on the other. It's pretty simple, but it's a nice addition to the city. And finally, we have the hotel. It's one of my favorite parts about the set. 
I like this rotating door down here, the flowers, even the sign. There's a pool on top, a nice lunch area, an umbrella, and inside there's two rooms. I like how there's two rooms. One has a big bed, one has a little one. Downstairs, there's a place to eat with only one chair. A place where you can get registered and get the key to your room. And I think they just designed this hotel really nicely. If you would like to see a stop motion of this set, click here. And you can see a speed build of the whole set here. Also, don't forget to subscribe up there. Thanks for watching.